Okay, please welcome Congressman David Jolly. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, great to be with you. All right, Marissa, where do we start? Well, let's just start with a bang here. Uh, you've briefly, previously said that Donald Trump is unfit to be president. Where do you stand on that sure. today? Uh, I'm not supporting Mr. Trump. I do recognize and appreciate the conviction of millions of people who are. Right? Mm -hmm. I have strong policy differences with Mr. Trump, and so for me, I won't be supporting him on Tuesday. But I encourage everybody to get out and vote for who you think is right for America. And for a lot of people, that means Donald Trump. So Kasich wrote in John McCain's name. Who yeah. are you voting for then? Listen, I, I think I'm in that basket of millions of Americans who are struggling. You decided who you're going to vote for? I still? haven't. No, that's yeah. the reality. And listen, I shared with somebody recently, uh, a paper reporter, this, is, this isn't a gimmick. I think this reflects the heart and soul of a lot of people in the Bay Area who are struggling with two historically unfavorable candidates. And I know people have chosen theirs. I don't know what I'm going to do on Tuesday. That's the honest truth. What about medical marijuana, Amendment 2? So what I've said about marijuana is when the FDA approves it for medicinal purposes, then I would support it. But we don't approve medicines on the ballot. I don't want voters approving a cough medicine or marijuana for my nieces to take. Why do you oppose raising the federal minimum wage? So here's what I say on minimum wage. Let's index it and get the politicians out of it. The minimum wage or the wage floor should not be dependent on which political party controls Congress. So listen, if I thought we could raise the minimum wage to $15 without reducing jobs, mm -hmm. great, let's do it. But the reality is every time we walk into a McDonald's or a restaurant, we see a kiosk, not an employee, because it's becoming cheaper to use technology instead of employees. I want to raise wages as high as we can in a manner that also allows for job growth. And that's the bottom line. On Social Security, you want to protect benefits for everybody in the workforce today. That's but right. What about students who are not yet in the world of work? Sure. How much would you cut their benefits? Oh, I don't think we need to cut. Hey, listen, here's what I've broken from my own party. I've voted against the Ryan budget and other Republican budgets. I voted against Democratic budgets as well because I think they're both political showpieces. But for the generation about to enter the workforce, Social Security will still be the best in the world, but it might look different. Is it personalized? It is a safety net program. Do we raise the contribution limits to a hundred to two hundred thousand or three hundred thousand dollars? Make everybody contribute. Math is math. If we extract the politics out of this, we can reach a reasonable compromise. What I've learned in three years is the solutions, the long-term solutions to Social Security do not rest on either side of the aisle. They're somewhere in the middle, and I'm willing to reach consensus on that as we protect benefits for the retirees now and those in the workforce. Congressman Jolly, thank you for your time. You. you got it. Great to be with you.